Hey, hey everyone, this is Andrea and I'm here to give you a message this morning. So big shout outs to my group of women last night that I did a party for. That was awesome. That was so much fun. Thank you so much for having me. I had, um, if you want to book a party with me, the information's online and we just laughed and like talked about cool stuff all night. So yay. Thank you for that. Um, I intuitive, I'm an intuitive life coach. I do women's retreats. I've been at this for a while now. Um, and I'm happy to give you any messages. And again, like, please click the subscribe button. That's very important to YouTubers. Um, it really supports us if you click that subscribe button. Also, um, if you want to get a session with me or book me, you want to look in the description box for my website. Okay. And the website gives you instructions on how to book me. So I'm going to pull some cards for you this morning. This is so exciting. This is, this is Friday, right? Yeah. Friday out of Atlanta, Friday out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so I had my hair did yesterday. The guy cut it, right? Trying to see what color I should go for next. Give me your opinions on the color of hair I should have next. I've had all colors. I've even had mermaid. Self-expression is important. Okay. So we're going to pull from the Oracle deck of harnessing your divine feminine. That's what we're pulling from this morning to give you a message for your overall day and your overall weekend. I'm going to be taking some time off the message, off the, um, doing these videos this weekend, but I'll be back at it either Sunday or Monday. Okay. Because breaks are important for life balance. Okay. Let me see here. So two cards came out. Your journey is paid off. You have grown through the mud and buck. You have and are becoming more beautiful every day. So your journey's paid off. All the law of attraction, manifestation, prayers, love and light you've been sending out, it's starting to pay off. Transformation is beautiful. Embrace the changes you are experiencing. These changes are necessary for the request to the universe you have made. You're not going to get these manifestations unless you change some stuff. That's just the bottom line. Like, you have to evolve to get what you want, right? You don't just get the Harley Davidson if you haven't learned to ride a motorcycle. You don't get the mansion if you haven't figured out how to handle an apartment. Okay? So, that's that. But change is horribly scary for some people. Volunteer for it. I volunteer for change. I'm like, let's do this because I want to get over the next obstacle that's coming. Okay. Um, it's not that life has to be hard. Eventually changes get easy. Right. You know what the key to life is? The key. Okay. Unattachment. Unattachment is really the key. You know what the root of all evil is? Attachment. Thinking that we know better, that we know what the outcome should be of anything. That's just absolute ego. That goes against God. It's called etching God out. Um, attachment is the root of all evil. It's not money and it's not all these things that we think it is. Like it's not lust. It's not greed. It's attachment saying, oh, I'm attached to this level of perfection or I'm attached to this outcome or this person or this job or this animal. No, it's unattachment because attachment is opposite of love. Love is all about freedom. Okay. So we're going to pull another one. We're going to pull from the John Holland Psychic Tarot deck right now. Rejoice in celebration. If you start making these little changes in your life, rejoice. You're going to have a celebration moment. And you've got to let go of the attachment. You know what? The more you want that person, the more you want that job, the more you want anything or that money, it pushes it away because it's like clingy, weird energy. You have to be like, you know what, spirit? I'm cool either way. I'm totally cool either way because I know you always got my back. I'm hearing that as soon as you let go of something, it comes in. You just have to let go of stuff. Um, wisdom. You're going to gain a lot of wisdom from this journey you're on. Okay, there's something about somebody's got a kid that's not good, doing good in school. Maybe that, that, this is just a bad year for them. We all have those years that are just not cool. And 2020 affected them like the quarantine and everything. There's high level of anxiety there for a child around you. Um. Tell them it's okay. It's okay to be, it's okay to have those feelings and give them tools in which to ease them. Maybe some YouTube meditations, maybe some hypnotherapy, maybe some like healthier food for sure. Cause all the sugar and stuff they're eating is making them more, more anxiety. There's going to be a disruption coming. Um, disruptions are not bad. Disruptions cause change, which is amazing, right? We we're evolving, right? Patience and planning, whatever this disruption is, you have to plan, plan up plan around it. It's going to make you change your plans. That's okay. Change your plans. Sometimes bring the biggest miracles, but you have triumph out of this. Whatever this disruption is, maybe this weekend or in your life in general, there's triumph. You're going to triumph over it. It's actually for you, not to you. So everything that happens, be like, 
this was done for me, not to me. And I know that's a hard concept to grasp because when you're stressed and you're defeated and you're like, I'm already so overwhelmed, seriously, universe. And as soon as you start to not feel that attachment, those little crises, those disappointments are going to get less and less, okay? So let's look at the moon goddess Tarot. The witch, okay? So you have magic in you, okay? There's already magic in you to heal this family situation, to heal this, um, this like cut in your heart chakra. Somebody's heart chakra is cut open. It's like you feel like your heart chakra is bleeding. And it, obviously it's just either, it's family, it's personal, it's not business, you, but you feel like your heart chakra is bleeding and it's like painful. Sometimes you just have to sit and breathe through it. Um, someone broke your heart or a circumstance broke your heart. It was not, they were not meaning to break your heart. It was done for you in that you're going to meet someone else. You need to let this one go. You're going to meet someone else. Um, and it's going to resolve. Okay. And then we have the nine of blades. You're exhausted. Okay. Somebody listening is just purely exhausted is what I'm hearing. You have got to sleep and you've got to take care of yourself so that you can think clearly because you're so exhausted. You're not even making like sound decisions. Um, then a dreamer, keep your, keep dreaming big because if you dream and you chase your dreams, you go after those dreams, you're going to hit somewhere close to them. Okay. Keep dreaming big. Don't let them put you in a box that do not let them put you in a box. Okay. So that's what I have for you this morning. I'm so happy you're all listening to me. Um, oh, I've got a ladies mini day coming up on July 31st. The schedule is on the website. It's coming together really well. We're going to be having um, a whole day for late, like metaphysical ladies. Um, so the schedule is on the website. Just look in my description box, subscribe to the channel and email me if you want to go to that. I also have the full weekend retreat coming up in November. So registration is open for that. Um, and you can make a deposit. You can make payments on that if you wish. So everything's on my website. So visit my website and thank you so much. And um, namaste. Well, namaste in a minute.